Hey guys, welcome back to another WTF video. Today we're doing a quick one day build of a heat insert press. I'm gonna be building a Voron printer pretty soon and I figured this could be a nice quick project to make that a little bit easier with all the heat inserts we're gonna to have to do with that. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so First things first, this is a project originally developed by the Arduino team. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below to the uh, documentation for this project. They provide a list of all parts needed with links of places you can purchase them as well as the STLs for the files uh, that you need to print. Um, first things first on this project, uh, they're gonna have you go ahead and do all these heat inserts already. Um, these are fairly easy. Ironic that it's a chicken and the egg. You gotta do the inserts before you have the press to do them. But I went ahead and got them started. Um, the first thing they're gonna have you build is the roller assembly. So I'll go ahead and get started with that. All right, so we have the roller assembly put together and part of the arm put together. So one thing I wanna note before moving on is I actually designed my own clamp compared to the original assembly. So if you can see in the original assembly right here, they have four screws that hold it together with heat inserts. Um, I do like that, uh, you know, for a full-time setup, it's great because it holds it in there. You don't have to do anything. However, that being said, it's, all essentially one size. There's a little bit of a uh, chamfer in there, but it's pretty much one size. And I was using a Weller WE1010 here, which is a fairly common um, soldering iron. However, this didn't fit my soldering iron. It did semi fit up here, kind of between the uh, grip and the end of it. However, it didn't hold it good and it was able to slip out. So I went ahead and went through a couple iterations. So. Here's the original, holds it in full time. I created the second design here that has a hinge rather than screwing down. And I have this little hole right here to kind of hold it tight with a screw and a button on top. So I went through, I redesigned it. And so I went through a couple iterations. I'll put the link to these files down below. If you have a WE1010, this might make it easier. Um, it's also one screw to take it in and out. So I'm not gonna leave my soldering iron in here full time because I'm gonna have other projects I wanna use it for and I don't wanna have a dedicated soldering iron in here. So I have this one right here that I finished. Uh, it fits it pretty well. It fits it right down here around the grip. So it gives you a little more to bite onto. And then you can just use this single screw and button on top here to hold it in place. And when you want to take it out, it's just one screw, no screwdrivers needed, um, and it's good to go. So that is mine. Once again, I'll put it in the link down in the description below to these files. So if you want to print these out, you can as well. But the next section is the counterweight. So we'll go ahead and move on to assembling that. All right. All right, guys, here it is, the final product. Not too shabby. Uh, it will certainly get the job done for my needs. Um, at the end of the day, I did end up having to take it apart a couple of times to get it assembled properly. The hole in here that the rope attaches to is pretty tight. I'm not that great with uh, nylon strings, so it's a little bit messy, but it's gonna hold on. It's better to attach that end when you have it off the extrusion, um, you just get a little more play in there and running the, uh, the cable through or the uh, rope through. Um, and it's a lot easier once it's on the extrusion to do some fine tuning and just to terminate it on this end with, the, uh, with a lighter or something like that. So that's what I ended up doing. The other thing is the extrusion here is a little bit tight on these wheels. 
they don't give you any adjustment on these wheels uh, with the way that the printed part is. Um, so these two sides are a little tight on here and what ends up happening is there's not a lot of play. This is supposed to slide pretty freely um, but I ended up having to loosen the nuts a little bit to get that to work. You could probably put a shim or a spacer in between to get a little more space if you wanted to. It's not the end of the world. I don't have any weight in this side yet um, to get it to offset. Um, you know, once I do that, it'll probably sit a little bit better than it does right now. But, you know, up to you. Again, the whole point of this is to hold the uh, hot end here up to hold the soldering iron up so that you can do your heated inserts. And so for that job, it'll do its job fine. Um, but I'm going to enjoy this during my Voron build. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I definitely enjoy reading your feedback. And until the next one. All right, guys. Thanks.